Hi and welcome to our 28th test and measurement video. Today we'll do an overview of the amazing handheld battery powered Tektronics THS 3024 oscilloscope. As you can tell from the last digit in the model number, it has four analog input channels and with the color-coded probes or by connecting BNC cables to the inputs, four signals can be displayed simultaneously. Cursor, math, and other operations can be performed, and the traces can be saved to internal memory or to an external USB device so they can be viewed in a PC. What's great about this type of instrument is that you can take point-to-point -point readings on a circuit where both sides float at some level above the premises electrical system ground potential. That is because all four channels are totally isolated from ground and from each other. This feature is valuable when doing phase-to-phase -phase readings on a Y or Delta three-phase circuit or when examining the inner workings of a variable frequency motor drive. To do such readings with a bench type oscilloscope, a differential probe is needed. Now we'll do some interesting measurements with a handheld Tektronix instrument. Using an intrinsically safe hookup to 120 volt utility power accessed from a premises branch circuit, we've inserted a diode like this one in series with the sine wave. It doesn't have to be a power diode because the oscilloscope impedance as seen through the probe is very high. The display indicates that we have built a half-wave rectifier with no filtration. The output is pulsating DC with a 50% duty cycle, useless for most electronic applications, but good for charging batteries, although a diode with appropriate current rating and usually a large heat sink would be required. We have actually connected two probes to the same signal, and it is being viewed in separate analog channels. Now we'll see what we can do with the two signals. We'll add them together and view the sum. First, press Acquire. There is a new menu across the bottom. Press the right arrow to highlight waveform. Then go down to Mathematics. Press Enter and set the function to Add. Set source A to 2 and source B at 3, since those are the analog input channels currently in use. Press Enter several times to see the desired math function, which is Add. To get a better view, press Menu Off and Stop. The two utility sine waves with diode in series are shown in the dedicated channel colors and the resultant, the sum at every point in time, is shown in red. Thanks for watching. New videos are added periodically, so check back frequently.